It is time. Now, ba listen, before we start this, okay, I am going to use illogical ideals about why I could or could not beat these people up. Just because I say I could beat the shit out of someone doesn't mean I necessarily could. Like, I'm, I'm trying not to get cancelled. This is a preface. I'm trying not to get cancelled, okay? Please don't fucking cancel me. I actually don't want to beat the shit out of everyone. I'm a lover, not a fighter. I don't want to fight anyone. I don't want to fight anyone. There's women in there. It's called a quality male. Beat the shit out of a chick. I, I went through my follow list of all, pretty much every Australian streamer that I follow, and like the list started getting pretty big. Like, like fuck, dude. Even, like, dude, we fucking scraped the bottom of the barrel. Fucking Lacank is on there. For fuck's sake, dude. Uh, Tunks is on there. He hasn't streamed for fucking six months. Like, we were scraping. Like, we were fucking scraping. Alex Ace is not Australian either. I noticed that before. He's from America. However, Alex is a fucking weeb, and the only thing that he could do is probably yell the Kame Kame R at me from fucking Dragon Ball Z, so I'd absolutely smoke Alex. I would, give, I would give Alex the absolute fucking work. Aletheia. Aletheia is pretty intimidating. See, the problem is all these girls have been going to like jujitsu together and stuff. She's fit. She does jujitsu. She's a fucking cracked game, which means she's probably fucking cracked IRL. It's a coin flip. It's a coin flip. Midget. Midget's chat. Midget is five foot fucking two. Weighs about fucking eight kilograms. I could literally snap her in half and use both like halves of her body as chopsticks. Like she's I beat the shit out of Midget. Uh, I was going to use the same motives um, with Mally here. However, Mally could fuck some people up. Death stare type beat, you know? Like Mally like stares into your soul and like she like puts the she devil in you. You know what I mean? Where it's like, oh fuck. I'm going to say probably win, but they have a chance. She's kind of the same with Midget. Both very small, you know, and I'm a, I'm a big kind of guy. Aussie Antics. Look, he's six foot five, and he was a personal trainer. That doesn't mean he can fight, though. And you know what I reckon? He spent the last years hanging out with 12-year-olds on stream, which means he's probably got, like, you know, like a little bit of yeeta energy. So maybe there's a chance there where I can, like, bully him a little bit, like use more, like, mental warfare, you know? Okay, I'm just going to get smoked. It's fine. Don't worry about it. That was a copium. I'm just going to get the shit beat out of me. Aussie Jacko. Here's, here's the reason why probably win, but they have a chance. Me and Jacko are basically 50-50, but there's a chance that Jacko rocks up high on fucking Mitsubishi Pingers or something, and I get the win because he's just fucking fly-blown. So I'm, I'm hoping that that's the case, but I'm going to go probably win, but they have a chance, depending. Baza. Baz is a baby. Like, Baz is just a big fucking baby. But, like, he's jacked, though. He's been going to the gym and shit. But I just don't think Baz would be out of fight. I just don't think he'd be out of fight. But just given his sheer physical status, I'd probably lose. Chat, Burdicus is the scariest fucking person I've ever met in my life. I don't even want to get in there. If there was a category of Lamau, I'm not even getting in the ring, That I'd, she'd be down here. Like, I don't want to go anywhere near her. She scares the fuck out of me. All right, Bordy. Bordy, I reckon, also streets. Bordy's the kind of person, she's so nice. But if you're starting to get the upper hand, she'd probably kick you in the dick or something and be like, GG, man, didn't see that coming, did you? I'd probably beat Bordy, but there's a chance that she'd she'd fucking you know what I mean? She'd she'd come after me for sure. Oh, I'm not gonna put me in the list, so I'll just go giving me the smoke. Yeah, all right. Cardboard cowboy. I'd actually I'd absolutely smoke cardboard cowboy because all I'd have to do is bring a lighter, one little flint switch, and fucking game over. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Who is that? It starts with C. Chat. Who is it? Think. Next. We'll move on. Cat. Cat's like literally the nicest person in the world. I don't want to put Cat in absolutely smoke him, but she's way too nice. Is there like a I don't want to fight them category? She's too nice. It's Carla. Oh, she's also just so wholesome. Like so hot. She's like, it's like, she's so wholesome. Like just give her the absolute smoke. I just, I just don't see, I don't even think she's going to fight back. Too wholesome. Give her the smoke. Is this chances? Honestly, it, listen. Mitch is kind of yoked up, actually. Mitch is kind of yoked up. I think Mitch is probably going to care about what his hair looks like while he's in there more than fighting, and I might be able to catch him off guard. I think I probably win this. Creator. Okay, me and Cray have fought before. I'd had 75 Great Northern Cans, and Cray had had probably one fucking martini. Physically, me getting in the ring with Cray is going to look like fucking Mike Tyson fighting Hasbulla, for one. Listen, I'm going to put this in a coin flip. Yeah, he's strong and all that bullshit. And he fucking, he looks like a fucking 1940s strong man. Yeah, cool, dude. I've been on the streets. I'm from Colac. I can fuck some shit up. Brody, this answers the question. What? That's photoshopped. Chat, that is photoshopped. That's not what you think it is. That is photoshopped. That didn't happen. Crewy. I fucking give Crewy the smoke. Dude, I, I'm, again, probably give Crewy the smoke as well. Like, I don't see anything that he gets me on. 
Um, Daniel Harrison. Do I even need to? Do I even need to? Do I even need to explain that one? Dilches. How did you make the list? We really were clutching at straws, weren't we, Bobby? Dill's a bit of a silent assassin, and he's from the Gong as well, and he's seen some shit. You know, he's from the mean streets of Wollongong. Gong. Dill's the kind of guy who's going to be carrying a shiv, and he's going to fucking bring it into the ring, and then it's going to be like, oh fuck, this shit just got real. So I'm going to go probably lose, but I'm a chance. Fastfi. Fastfi scares the fuck out of me too. I think coin flip for Fastfi. I'd also let Fastfi choke me out. Okay, you've just okay. That's not. You know what? I'm kind of the same. You know what? I'm going to say giving me the smoke because I'm probably just going to get on the ground and let it become ground and pound. Ah, uh, Fazikins. I really like Fazzy. He's, he's going to fall in the same realm as these guys up here. I just don't see him wanting to throw hands, you know? Ah, uh, Fitz. Listen, I think Fitz is like, I'm going to say it. Fitz is the poor man's Baz. I feel like if I targeted the, the knees of Fitz, like go low, he's like seven foot tall. Fitz will be too high and he'll fall over. I think I'd probably beat Fitz if I target from the ground up. Friendo. Friendo's a little baby back bitch. I'd beat the shit out of Friendo every day of the week. Mr. Fresh Asian. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, you know what? Fresh would actually give me the smoke. Do you know why Fresh would give me the smoke? Because I don't want to go anywhere fucking near those clammy fucking hands of his. I will literally give him the victory royale. I don't want anything to do with him. Gwen Mallon. I'm probably going to lose this. Because she's probably going to bring her vape into the ring and blow it in my eyes. And I probably won't be able to see for a good 90 seconds. And she's probably going to swift kick me in the fucking shin. And it's going to be game over. Hey, I'm B. She's vegan. She's vegan? Give her the smoke. Vegans can't fight. Oh, the hyphen. I would absolutely smoke hyphy. He'd be too busy. He'd be like, do you guys have Twitter? Hey, do you guys have TikTok? Do you guys want to find my TikTok? Spare the man in. Get out Ilsa. Oh, Ilsa's way too nice. Chat, I'm going to let Ilsa win. I, I can't fight Ilsa. I, I simply can't. Who the fuck is this? Josh Dub. Don't get in his no-no square. Yeah, that's... Man, I was thinking the same thing. I'm probably going to go with 50-50 here because I don't know what Josh is capable of. And he's probably... He could probably fuck me up, honestly. Kiki. Kiki, I'm applying the exact same um, method of victory as I did for Fitz. Chop him down at the knees. They're too fucking tall. Kobe. I, bro, I, I... Dude, listen. Listen. I, I, don't, I, ain't, I ain't trying to fuck with Kobe because I know for a fact that this man has had a couple of scuffles out the front of fucking the Eureka nightclub in Geelong when he's had a couple too many Carlton dry stubbies, and I don't want to fucking run into that. Why the fuck is K-Quid on here? He's like nine years old. Why is there a child on here? The reality is he'll probably beat me because he'll cheat. <laughs> oh, my doppelganger, the Fairbane Films guy. I got a 50-50 him, right? I got a 50-50 him. Lachlan, again, same thing with Mitch, his brother. It's the hair chat. Okay, laser beam. Laser Beam, I've been in I've been in a call with Laser Beam. Worked around Laser Beam for near on two years now. Lannon has said to me on numerous occasions that he fights dirty. If he's if he has to get into a scrap, he's biting, he's kicking people in the dick, he doesn't care. He is gonna win. Lakanka! Uh, unless this guy can actually bring a fucking tennis racket into the ring and start smacking me around with it, I just don't see him having any fucking chance. There's nothing that he can he can bring to the party that's going to stop me. He's he, he's smoking. He's getting smoked. He's getting absolutely smoked. Is this Lisa? Chat, I'm not fighting Lisa. Lisa would cry if I looked at her the wrong way. Like, I'm no. There's not a chance. Liv Bev, she's got that kind of like, fuck you up kind of, you know what I mean? Yeah. Death stare, but probably couldn't back it up. I'd say it's a 50-50. We don't know. We'd have to wait and see. Lose the fruit. Give her the... Give her the fucking work. Give her the absolute work. Lucy L. Okay, Lucy, though. When Lu If Lucy gets mad, she's mad mad. Now, Marcus. Listen, I'm leaning towards 50-50 here. Didn't, he wasn't even that big. Like, he, like he, Chad, he wasn't even that swole back in the day. He was like... He was, he was pretty small. He's not like... He's not that... Jesus... Fucking Christ. Okay, maybe. Okay, maybe not. I'd probably lose, but I think he's fallen off a little bit. Fucking Mao. You know, the only intimidating thing Mao's ever fucking possessed is that stupid fucking goatee that he grew like two years ago. Absolutely fucking not. Ah, uh, Mavro. Mavro scary. Good at Rocket League. You know what Mavro has? Mavro has the beard that Mao tried to grow. I'd probably lose that. Mavro's way more intimidating because of that. Oh, dude. Max Mofo. 
I'm fucking scared as fuck of Max, bro. When Max gets going, he's fucking wild as fuck. And I don't reckon... He's the other kind of guy who'd bring a gun to a knife fight. I don't, I don't reckon I want to go near Max. I'm going to go give me the smoke, I reckon. Mahalia? Mahalia. <sighs> I don't even know what to say here. May would smoke you? What do you mean, bro? I was going to bring one of her plants from home. Smack me over the head with her, is she? Maybe burn some sage in the ring. Try and get me higher something. Chow, I'm giving Mahalia the work as well. You're kidding yourselves. I'm giving her the work. McCreamy! McCreamy's a little... McCreamy, a little bitch. Little ice cream head. Fuck. I reckon I'd beat the shit out of him. What's he gonna fucking do? Yeah, fuck him. Beat the shit out of McCreamy. Who the fuck is this guy? Mid-beast. Do I know who this guy is? He looks jacked. I don't want to. I'm scared. He's a Chad. Okay. Fuck that. Michaela? I've got really nothing that really, you know, either way here. I'm going to go 50-50. I don't see any way that, like, I have a definitive um, advantage or she does either. Mitch Robinson. He's probably the scariest guy on this fucking list, honestly. I fucking go anywhere. Yeah, fuck that shit. I go anywhere near Mitch. He scares the fuck out of me. Mullen. Bro, Mullen's from, like, regional Queensland. Used to fucking drive souped up fucking Mitsubishi Lancers and drink Jack Stubbies. He would, like... Listen, I reckon now, I reckon he's lost it a little bit now that he's a fucking YouTuber and he has like an Audi R8 and he's trying to act like a fuckboy. I reckon he's lost a little bit of it. If push came to shove and he had to drop back to like the, you know, the OG days, I reckon he'd probably give me the work. What's going on, guys? Musel camp. Musel could probably try and build an IRL sky base if we fought, I reckon. Surely I'd give Musel the work. He's fucking scary. Musel? Nah. Give Elliot the work. Nelopia. Well, I'm going to be in an ambulance um, before we even get into the ring because she's going to scream when she arrives and I'm going to have permanent eardrum damage and my equilibrium will be shot to the point where I can't even stand up on my own two feet. So I'm going to be gone. There's no chance I win that. Natasha? Yeah, I, dude, I'd probably lose that one too. Nat's cracked, dude. Nat's cracked. I can't, Nathan Cavalieri? I'm not fighting Nathan Cavalieri. Nathan Cavalieri is literally the nicest guy on the fucking planet. There's no way I would ever get into a ring. Like, nah, he's too nice, dude. Oasis? Fuck no. It goes to the gym six times a day, does jujitsu. Fucking, she posted a photo on Twitter the other day and she had a knife in her hand. Like, I'm not going anywhere fucking near Oasis, dude. Fuck that. Amber? Scared as fuck. No, no just straight, bro. Amber's won the Mental War game before it's even started. Amber wins. It wins. Don't want, no, Malkus. Pestily. I'm pretty sure Pestily uh, served in the Australian Army. So I'm going to go down here and not say anything else. I'm going to leave that one alone. Uh, Pez. Pez. Pez is pretty fucking old. Like, he's he's definitely older than me, I reckon. Yeah, honestly, with Pez, I reckon I'm probably win. Probably win, but they'd have a chance. All right. Fizzy. Listen, there's not a chance on God's green earth. Is that purple? Oh, that's, oh it's play it Shady. Oh, that's Lynn. That's Lynn. I don't know a lot about... I don't know a lot about um Shady. But I tell you, I'll give her the benefit of the doubt because I don't know much. I'll put her in the probably win, but they have a chance. You know, maybe she fucking knows something. Pro Blues player. Oh, Blues. Blues is the nicest guy ever. Louis, the nicest guy ever. But I'd give him the smoke. Okay, who fucking is this, Bobby? Who's the I I R? What's this? Radius? Just another guy who fucking grows a bad goatee? Give him the work. Put him right next to his best friend, Mao, too. Fucking, I'll give him... You know what? Mao and Radius at the exact same time. Mao can cop the left hand. Radius can cop the right. Come at me. Both of you. Rel? Rel's super nice, too. But he's just another Fortnite frog i just give the work to. Rel, I'm sorry. You'd get the work as well. Swagger 50-50? Nah. 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 Swag Swagger would... Nah. Swag would stuff you into a joint and smoke you. True. And he's got a fucking giant lead helmet on that I'm not going to be able to get through anyway. He wins purely on defense stats. Tanner. Like, if you've got the last name Ecot, you're scary to me. She's also the kind to, like, ankle pick you or, like, you know, Central Coast, went out to the clubs, probably fucking threw glasses. I don't fucking know. Like, you know what I mean? If I beat the shit out of her, I'm also probably losing my job. So I've got to put it down here. Fuck. Dude. God. TJ. Like, Fucking hell, TJ. Like, what, what, am I, what, do you want me, what do you want me to do, dude? He'd be running his hands through his hair every fucking three seconds, not trying to hit me just to make sure that it all looks nice and pretty. I'd smoke TJ because he'd be too busy trying to fucking find the fucking arena on GeoGuessr and he wouldn't fucking end up getting there in time. Oh, Tolga. Tolga's like a big dude. He's really nice, though. I'm going to go with a coin flip here because I think he's too nice and he couldn't really bring it to the party. Towdy. Don't tell Tiani, but I'd give Tiani the work too. Tunks. Chat, Tunks would be too pissed. 
Tonks is always drunk. Tonks is drunker than me. Well, it's, honestly, I'll put it 50-50 because it's li literally like fighting each other in the mirror. Like, it would literally just be the greatest 50-50 fight of all time. You couldn't split him. Um, I'm going to pretend this is Lewis. Twitch staff Lewis. Lewis is a little bitch. I ain't giving him the way to it. I've drank beers with him. Gets pissed too quick. He's a three head as well. Nah, fuck. I'd probably win. I don't know. I don't know what he'd be able to bring to the party, but I reckon I'd be able to give Lewis the X2 twins. I could, I could fight both Jesse and Jordan after 65 beers. Look at these two fucking little dweebs. Fucking little dweebs. Just get oh, off. Fuck, I'd, I'd grab you both by your stupid little fucking man buns and drag you around like fucking little hessian bags. Fuck you. Zuckles! I'm not going to put that in a category. Can I leave that out? Can we pretend that doesn't exist? I don't want to... I don't want to... Chat, if he didn't literally kick my fucking head off in the in the fucking first eight seconds of the fight, he'd probably fucking give, it, give me the fucking Chinese burn on my dick or something. Like, he would... Like, Zuckles would do... Like, would fuck me up. Out of all the people who would fuck me up the most on this list, he's number one by a country fucking mile, dude. All right, chat, that's my list. That's my list of Australian YouTubers and streamers that I reckon uh, I could either beat in a fight or would beat me in a fight. I think it's pretty fair. I think you look at that and it makes a lot of sense for the most part, for sure. Sure.